memories that we made all start to fade away with time Or you finally see the light Why can't you see the light? Were you ever satisfied? Rather let you as you and take away my life Can't forever now say It was nice to know That was Bougie and the High Rise out of New Orleans with Break in Sound, followed by Tandem and See the Light out of Lafayette. LA on Air, Bray J and Kimberly here with you. Hopefully you're having a good time so far. Oh yeah, I am. I know I am. <laughs> I am, I am. I scream, you scream, we all scream. Woo! <laughs> I scream. LA on Air here with you, LouisianaIndyRadio.com. Uh, I think it's about time we let them listen to the traffic report. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Traffic. Let's uh, check in now with Commander Stevens. Commander Stevens, are you there? Where are you flying over today? Donna, stop, stop. I have to do the traffic. Shh. Commander Stevens here with you, flying high over this God bless it state of Louisiana. Today we're flying over Sulphur for your LA on Air traffic report. Uh, things are looking pretty clear in the Maplewood area, traveling over I 10 now. And again, traffic should be pretty good on your commute if you're traveling into Lake Charles. Now we're crossing over by the I-10 bridge. Things seem to be going fairly well. Um, hmm. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, shh. It looks like the bridge may be <gasps> having some trouble now. Never seen this before in my 30 years. Uh, it seems some... Oh. Uh, we, we might need to call some... some traffic back up here um the bridge seems to be collapsing i don't <gasps> want to send out that fake report without knowing for sure oh so my goodness. please don't take my word on that and we're flying in a bit closer don't stop flying a little bit closer to get a closer look here for you uh, we we do see a few vehicles falling <gasps> into the lake oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen this is no joke this oh is no. very scary if you're anywhere near i10 you might want to divert now turn on your radios turn on your you're, you're, oh man, this is just a travesty. Oh, oh. We need to, we need to fly over. 
Well, Bridge Hay, we're going to have to get back with you on this one. I'm a Commander Stevens flying over the Lake City right now looking at this bridge. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're going to have to check on that one. LA on air, flying high. God bless Lake Charles right now. Commander Stevens reporting. Did the bridge really just... I've, I don't, I'm not sure, but it sounds pretty serious. Commander Stevens wouldn't joke with us, right? Uh, I really hope not. Man, he, was he flying solo up there? Uh. I, I was kind of <laughs> questioning that. So he kept saying Donna? Right, right. I heard Donna. Uh, if you're on I-10 right now, though, seriously, you want to be careful. We yeah. don't know what, what's going on. We, we hope Commander Stevens isn't joking around with us. I, a lot of people are scared about the bridge. So Yeah, that would scare me because people have been thinking that thing was going to fall for a long time. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, so if you're traveling near the Calcasieu Bridge right now, you may want to, just be to be careful. safe, maybe you want to take 210. I wouldn't travel that way right now. Um, we're going to check in with Commander Stevens. Yeah. Uh, Ellie on air. Bray J and Kimberly here with you. All right, getting back to the music, of course. We we love our music. Representing Shreveport, here it is, the Dubonauts. Oh, yes, you're going to love this one. Right here on L.A. on Air. Everybody, yeah. But do you know what it means to be free? 
free my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. My baby. Life's too short to jeopardize But a happiness that gets you by You feel your bending space and time But I'm fighting for what you think's right Is it right? That was Space and Time by the Dubonauts out of Shreveport, L.A. on Air. Here it is, Lafayette Confessions on L.A. on Air. Which, I have to say, <laughs> I love the cover photo. Keep calm and confess, confess on. on. And Lana and I mentioned them on our last show. They've turned this into a business now. They're selling merchandise. I mean, oh, yay! I would buy stuff. Of course, but Lana had a little problem. She had mentioned on the show she wanted them to start... a. Uh, confessions with lana oh lana. right yeah and they did hmm. at least not yet but she tagged she them in her post it. and she's making a special request and we're pushing for her to to get her own shirt made. Awesome. right yeah that's great so uh here it is lafayette confessions ladies and gentlemen picking out um <laughs> i'm gonna let you read this one yeah i like that one okay this one says to that guy that lives, I assume, in River Ranch between the CCs and the fountain, I see you on your balcony with your dog every once in a while. You're so sexy. You're a secret admirer. Hmm. <laughs> hey, would, would that be considered a stalker? Um, well, no, not really, because... I see you every once in a while on your balcony. Maybe they maybe they live in the same area. You know, and it's kind of okay. coincidental. I'm, I'm going to let that one go. Okay. What's up with this? You want to read that one? I don't get those sometimes. I'm not cheating. I just don't want her to find my grinder account. So, what is that? What is that supposed to mean? So then, the first post is you mean you don't want her to find out you like the radio edit? <laughs> and then the next person, a lady, a girl, posted, "Okay, I went to see what the website was, and now I wish I didn't." Oh no, that makes me curious. Then the next one says, "I didn't want my BF to find mine either." LOL. Ah, you straight guys are dream come true for me <gasps> and the fam. Oh, now I kind of know what yeah, it's about. Uh, I think we're learning more about this right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> moving on. Wow. You want to read this one? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, this one says, It's really annoying to have to delete confessions because some people can't handle confessions after they like a confessions page. And that one oh. produced about 13 comments. Yeah, that annoys me too. People are, they, they judge you for it and they're like, Oh, because you like this, I'm going to delete you. <laughs> I've been That's hearing about that a lot, crap. actually. crap. That's crap. Well, I mean, it depends on what the confession is. Just like hide the post. You know, get on your Facebook and you, can, you have the option to hide your post. You don't have to look at that stuff. Right. I agree. Yeah, my rant. <laughs> <laughs> this one is kind of disgusting and sad, I think, but we're going to try to keep it clean for you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. It says, um, my love interest has a brain tumor. I want to rock his world in case he doesn't get the chance to do it with someone else. Plus, just the thought of being the last person someone sleeps with makes me kind of hot. Hmm. Wow, well, I don't know what to think about that person. <laughs> me neither. All right, moving on. <laughs> There are actually comments to that one. There's a lot of comments to that one. <laughs> okay, this one's a little strange. So, my girl and her guy cousin are texting things like, I miss you, and he's being too persistent with her not hanging with him, and he calls her baby. It's a bit much for Ooh. me. I tried talking to her about it, but she oh. sees no problem. Ooh, maybe they got something Am I right? On. It's too much? Ooh. 38 comments. I love how people instigate. <laughs> Look, somebody wrote secret, secret tickle time. 